What's up everybody, it's Sean here. Welcome back to another incredible luxury home tour. This week we are in the 90210 Beverly Hills. About to tour this dynamic, modern masterpiece. Specs on this home, six bedrooms, five and a half bathrooms, 6,843 square feet of interior space, listed at an asking price of $9,950,000. And this, this is Pixie. She's the developer's dog, very cute. And uh, yeah, she's helping us with that intro today. I want to give a special thanks to the listing agents, Dougal Murray and Jonathan Wood, who are also the visionary developers that brought this modern masterpiece to life. And with that, let's begin. The home is perfectly situated on its own private road, tucked behind a gated entry, and every visit to this home, you're greeted by this 50-foot waterfall. It's so tranquil, it's so tranquil. I just wanna, just wanna touch it, ooh. <laughs> also, this home is perfect for any car enthusiast because not only do you have one car garage right here, two car garage right there, but look at how many cars you can park out in. It's incredible. The exterior is a dance between glass, alabaster stucco, cedar siding, and jutting angles. It's honestly, it's, a, it's like an Argentinian tango or something, it's a beautiful scene. Also, you have a cantilever roof line above that is also clad in the cedar siding, right above your entryway and your awesome pivot door. Let's go inside. When you enter, you instantly fall in love with this 270 degree panoramic view over your infinity edge pool and off into the horizon of the San Fernando Valley. This is your formal living room. And if you'll notice, there are no TVs. Why? Because you're not gonna need any TVs. You're gonna position all the seating, which it kind of already is, towards your view. And you're gonna be sitting right over here, taking it all in morning, day, and night. It's breathtaking. Also, you have a bunch of windows and Fleetwood pocket doors that illuminate the home with natural light. You have the beautiful oak hardwood floors throughout. Off of your formal living room, you have your formal dining room perfectly positioned to take in all the views while you eat. You have your modern chandelier as a centerpiece to the space. Also, you have built-in speakers. So, I don't know, you could put a little Andrea Bocelli, Besame Mucho while you eat. I know that's what I would do, one of my favorites. And uh, yeah, you could eat right over here. You could eat outside. I'll show you the dining uh, spaces over there as well, or in the kitchen. The opportunities, endless. And this is your brilliant custom kitchen with this gorgeous bleached wood, bleached walnut all throughout. I wanna show them this. So let's, let's take a peek at this, check this out. If beauty and function got married, I mean, this is, this is what it would look like. Let's, let's do it one more time, check this out, right? Over here. Like, I, I, can't, I won't get tired of this. I'll be in the kitchen all day, just kind of opening, closing, enjoying. The design is very minimalist, and then you have the striking marble countertops that carry on to the backsplash, which is actually book matched right over here under your hood vent that is also clad in that beautiful bleached walnut. You also have the under cabinet lighting over here, these two chandeliers, because a kitchen of this bespoke magnitude calls for much more than a pendant light. You need chandeliers in here. Check this out. So the gray tones over here are very intentional. All the colors, they come together very nicely. This is your nice paneled in fridge and freezer. Everything Sub-Zero, Wolf, high-end, top of the line, all the bells and whistles. Uh, your microwave is right over here. Two dishwashers and Sub-Zero temperature controlled wine cooler. Check this out, check this out. It's, it's like hidden right over here. Pantry, walk-in pantry, right over here. you just hop right in. Check this out. I really like this. So it's like, it's beautiful, it's very, it's huge. So let's say you have some chores. You have to wash some dishes. You're not gonna mind. You're gonna actually look forward to it when your sink is this beautiful and the island is this beautiful. This is more of your informal dining area, almost like a breakfast nook off to the side. You can sit over here, talk about your day. That conversation can happen here or at the bar stool seating at your island or in the family room. This family room is extremely cozy. The windows, the nice L-shaped couch over here. Wow, this is crazy. This is really nice. I like these bespoke built-ins over here. They really tie in the space nicely. Subtle, classy. And then you have this linear gas fireplace right over here. 
So you can cozy up uh, with some marshmallows, anything. So this is your backyard paradise, and it's definitely one of the most beautiful spaces all oh, out tripping over the hose. So imagine having dinner right over here with your family, your friends, facing this view. Honestly, it's like a painting. It's like someone could come right over here, put their easel up and paint you all, and there's that option. There's also a mature oak tree right over here. You can have a picnic right underneath it. That too would look like a painting. And I want to point out, I like how the retaining wall is very low surrounding the property as to not obstruct any of the views. There are so, so many visual moments that make up this view. You can see all the way from Encino to Sherman Oaks to Burbank down in that corner. I mean, wow, wow, definitely wow. So you can have all these outdoor festivities right over here and everyone's just gonna be like, what, 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 what is happening out here? The view is too crazy. Anyways, but besides the view, I wanna talk a little about the house as well. So if you could see it from this angle, it looks incredible. You have all the, the cedar paneling and detailing all throughout. You have a centerpiece right over here, the balcony on the second floor. That's not even the, the, the owner's suite. The owner's suite has its own beautiful old concept going on. This is just one of the other bedrooms on the second floor. And I like how it just spills out, this balcony feature and the paneling around it, just like waterfalls out towards the view. And then you have your negative edge infinity pool. Also waterfalls out towards that direction. The spa, perfectly placed in the center. And I like how they made a large spa. It's definitely a very large spa. This is the perfect pool for this property. You need to have this infinity edge over here to capture the pool and the view. They kind of dance together as well. All the elements in this house, they're all very intentional. And everything was planned out down to the T. And so, yeah, I want to say to the developer, that's a great job, like amazing, like phenomenal job. Before we go up to the second floor, let's pop by your light-filled gym, where after you're done pedaling away, after you're done doing some yoga, after you're done admiring your art, you can pop in your walk-in shower. We have walk-in shower right in this direction with your leathered marble countertops, beautiful sconces as well. Walk-in shower and so you're gonna change right after, right? You're gonna pop over here and check out how large this walk-in closet is. It's a room to itself. I wanted to show you guys. Right over here, we have the garage, one of the entrances right over here. Open it up, hop right in, two-car garage, and then there's this. So this, this is like a, like I don't even know what to, how to, what should I say? This is crazy in itself. It's a little area, you could probably use this, right? It's so cute, as a doggy den, anything. You have to crouch to get in there. Should I get in there and crouch? So you're in there, oh wow. And honestly, it's like, well, I mean, and he has his own window. <laughs> Natural light in this room as well. So the home is connected by just many passageways and staircases. And that's right, staircases too. You have this staircase right over here. I like this wood detailing running over to the side over here. And there's a second staircase right over here. And this one is floating. And there's actually, instead if you want to show them, there's a little lounging area over here. And if you look straight up, a centerpiece, beautiful hanging chandelier. Upstairs, we have four bedrooms and a spacious laundry room. I wanna take us over to this bedroom first, which is currently staged as an office. By the way, Seb, check out this door. Check out the detailing, the ridges on the door. And what, like what is this color? I, like this is my thoughts, you let me know. Pistachio, like some <laughs> sort of pistachio. I love pistachios. You also have a staircase, a separate one, that leads you right up to this room. So if you wanna use it in an office, have some clients over, anything that could come, directly through here rather than through the entire home. Take a look at the length of this hallway. It's a very artful passageway because it's like, a, it's like an art gallery. Look at all, you can display all your art right over here. The windows will illuminate all the art. You have the sconces right above over here as well to display them. And so this is currently a closet on the second floor, but it's set up actually so that you can actually turn this into an elevator if you'd like. Downstairs, right below it, uh, there's a closet as well. So they're connected. So if you want, throw an elevator right over here. If you don't want to take one of your two staircases, it's a bedroom right over here. We could pop in over here. Again, huge picture windows. Walk-in shower with your skylight. Let's turn on these lights to really showcase it. On this wing of the home, we have the laundry room. And they have the marble over here again and the bleached walnut 
Again, so using all the same high quality materials. And this is another bedroom over here where you have these beautiful light sconces on either side of the bed. It's a theme throughout all the rooms, beautiful light sconces and huge shower over here, walk-in shower and bathroom. And if you take a peek out this way, you can see the rest of your home. You can see that looks like an art gallery, but it's your home right over there. This room has a lot of cool features. Again, the beautiful, beautiful sconces on either side of the bed. And if we head out this way to your balcony, this is the balcony that we saw while we were in your backyard paradise. This is, wow, the, the cedar paneling, it smells like it's like, like freshly cut or something. It smells so good. It's so fresh. And yeah, the views, your negative edge infinity pool, everything in this house tied together beautifully. Hopping into your bathroom, you have a standalone soaking tub inside your shower, actually. So it's set within the shower. I love the stone over here. So you probably hop into this one. I'm gonna wait to hop in. I like to always hop in, but there's one in the primary suite and that is gorgeous. So I'm gonna save the hopping in for that one. And uh, yeah, beautiful walnut again. And I really like these sconces on either side as well. Your primary suite is exceedingly private and has its own pivot door for the entrance. It's, it's so grand, it's so beautiful. And it's pistachio again, you know? So we have two walk-ins with custom wood built-ins. This is very, very large. You have the places for the shoes right over here, a mirror. And there's another one directly behind you on this side. This one is slightly smaller and it has the window. Beautiful nonetheless. This hallway leads you to your primary bath, which is completely decked out, all the bells and whistles, dual vanity with this leathered marble countertop set above your bleached walnut cabinets right underneath. And then this, okay, the standalone soaking tub, gold fixture. I'm going to hop in because I need to, because this is incredible. Look at the view. Look at the view. You're going to sit here and just, wow, wow. That's crazy. It's perfectly framing the view. This is your walk-in shower, which is essentially, it's like two showers going on in here. A skylight above, which is beautiful. The gold hardware again. And I like the under lighting over here, the cove lighting. And I'm gonna take a peek. Uh, actually, I would sit down, but it's a little wet. Wow, it's a little wet. Someone must have recently turned on the shower. But yeah, let's hop right outside, close this up. I love this glass in case aspect of it. Really nice. And then this is your frosted glass toilet room uh, or water closet. And uh, yeah, really nice and skylight as well in here. There are a lot of skylights in this home, which is a very nice detail that uh, is not to go overlooked. The bedroom is incredibly spacious. You have cove lighting within this area, recessed area into the, in the ceiling. And I wanna direct our attention this way. This is a designated lounging area, which I would lounge around all day in. In front of us, we have the linear gas fireplace, and this is huge, very large. And then the recessed in cabinets on either side. And the cherry on top for the primary suite is this wraparound private deck surrounding the room. If you head out here, there's trees all around it. So it gives it this almost treehouse-esque feel to it, extremely organic, plenty of room to lounge, take in all the views, look over your backyard paradise, check that out. And honestly, the tree is really nice. And I like how it gives the room a bit of privacy. And the wraparound deck wrapped up today's episode. It's time to unwind with a bottle of wine and these views. I wanna give a special thanks to Dougal Murray and Jonathan Wood, who are the listing agents and the developers for this beautiful home. Their information will be linked in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash the like button. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when new videos are released. I'm gonna stop walking this way, I'm gonna fall in the pool. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'm Shant, behind the camera. That's Sev, cheers.